some interesting news coming out of India as it appears that, uh, well, safe and effective has proven to be a complete lie. And now government officials are trying to backtrack from statements that they made a year ago. And, uh, well, it's um, not looking so well for them. We're going to get into all the details about a case going on in India right now, guys, in less than 10 seconds. First, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Very important. Also, you please share the video. Help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. And as always, if you guys can help donate here to my ministry for just five bucks a month, Go to patreon.com slash conservative truth. That link in the description below. So I thought the shift here was just, just great. And look, this has come to be expected. Look where we went from about a year ago, right? With safe and effective, and you got to get the pin sheet. It's the right thing to do. But all of a sudden, the safe and effective has proven to be a total lie. Many people have come to realize this after first trusting this whole thing from the beginning. Enter two parents from India who are now attempting to hold the government responsible because both of their kids, ages 18 and 20, tragically lost their lives to the Pinchy last year. These were two girls, ages 18 and 20, who had no prior health issues prior to taking it at all, nothing like that. And they both sadly passed away just three weeks after taking the pinchy. And now the parents are trying to hold the government accountable for that and saying that it was their fault, that they coerced this, that they pushed this. And the Indian government has now taken their case to the Supreme Court to argue why they should not be held liable. And I'm going to get to their response here in just a second, guys. But first, let me put a quick plug in here for my Patreon. You know, I got to do this being that I get no monetization on the YT platform, guys. This is the only way I have to let you guys know how you can support me. And you can do it for just five bucks a month by going to patreon.com slash conservative truth. If you guys enjoy my video content here and you want me to keep doing this for you, I really need the help, guys, in a major way by going to patreon.com slash conservative truth. When you sign up there, here's the thing. You're never going to miss an alert for any of the content that I produce. If you only rely on YT to send you notifications for my stuff, forget it. It's garbage. It's trash. They don't like what I do. They're not interested in helping me in any way. Sign up to Patreon. Never miss an alert. Here's the other thing I love about it. When you do, you can also leave your comments on these videos, but you can do it over there completely censorship free. You don't have to worry about YT blocking and removing what you guys are saying. It's happening more and more. People tell me all the time. They'll show five, six comments, but only you know one of them is actually displaying. So they can take the most minuscule thing and just completely wipe your comment out after you've been you know writing it, putting thought into it, whatever. So go to Patreon where we could have a nice free-flowing discussion on these topics with no interruptions. You could even send me direct messages there as well. Check the platform out. I really encourage you guys. Patreon.com slash conservative truth. Again, five bucks a month. A big thank you to everybody already contributing. And those thinking of doing so, thank you as well. Your generosity greatly appreciated. So the Indian government is trying to, well, back out of this now as fast as they can. And they are blaming the public in general for taking the pinchy, saying the public was well aware of any potential side effects that may arise from getting the pinchy in the first place. And that, well, if you decided to get this, well, then you have to live with the consequences that may come from that. Even though the whole thing from the beginning in India, they pushed this hard. Make no mistake about it. I remember when this was all first going down. They were one of the countries that had all the different, remember all the waves that were coming in, right, with the cuckoo, right? They were one of the countries that experienced the most. So they were just beyond ecstatic when the pinchy became available. And look, there was no different in India like it was in the United States and other countries. Businesses forcing employees to get the pinchy if they wanted to keep their jobs. Now, did the Indian government try to shut that down in any way? No, they shouldn't try to stop businesses 
from doing that to the people? Not at all. Not at all. They promoted this. Now they're trying to back out because they don't want to be held liable for what I believe are going to be many more unfortunate deaths that arise because of this. Now they're saying that, you know, they could take this to a, you know, a civil complaint lawsuit, do it that way. But they want their hands basically wiped completely clean of this whatsoever. They are claiming they did not coerce any Indian citizen to take this, that they had posted all of the side effects everywhere in order for this, you know, for people to know. <laughs> but people are saying otherwise. They're just trying to backtrack and trying to get out of this. But make no mistake about it. If you know that something is bad, and yet you do nothing to stop it or, or you promote it. Look, it's no different. I, I hold the Indian government. I, I completely understand where these parents are coming from. I get it. And look, while I hold the Indian government accountable too, I also hold people like Trump accountable. I know that may not make a lot of people very happy, but I'll, I'll, I've been honest about this before in the past. He was somebody who was overseeing the entire operation of the Pinchy. And has continued, by the way, to sing its praises, calling it even the greatest achievement in all of mankind. You say things like that, and yet you have people, a lot of young people too, that have been dropping like flies one by one by one while you continue to champion something that is responsible for many of them no longer being here. Mind you, a lot of these people that took the pinchy did it because they trusted people like Trump. See, they trusted government officials and not just for Trump, but again, for governments, whatever country you live in. They're all on the same team. You gotta understand this, ladies and gentlemen. It's not about being political, choosing Republican Democrats, it's about being biblical. It's about understanding where we are in the last days. Now it's the public's fault for getting the pinchy. Even though we told you to get it, we rolled out campaigns trying to get you we did TV ads and stuff in the movies and we, we tried to give you free stuff. It's your fault though. You knew it was bad. Funny how they change. This is all leading to something much more sinister. In fact, I would encourage you to read your Bible, especially the book of Revelation chapter 13, because that is where this is all going. But where are you going? is the question I have for you. You know, where are you going to spend eternity? That's a question that people really need to start asking themselves right now as we continue on here in these last days. And I'll say this, if you have not yet accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I want to encourage you to do that today, right now, as a matter of fact. Something I do on all my videos here is that I give people the opportunity to receive Christ into their life. And if that's you, I can lead you in this prayer right now to do just that. It's a prayer you can do in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news, though, is this, is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, and then you just jump back into your old ways again. No, it means to actually turn from your sin, which are those lifestyles, habits, patterns, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord though, and you ask him to forgive you, he wipes your sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God, you will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. You go to patreon.com slash conservative truth. It is a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more you guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.